Hello. Okay. So, <clears throat> I am working on a diamond painting from Crystal Canvas Art Designs or Crystal Canvas. The website is www.crystalcanvas.us and they just restocked have sold out on some things but have still a lot left and I think their website is it's right now it's sometimes works and sometimes doesn't just because there's so many people trying to get on an order I think <clears throat> but everything that's on their website as far as like the full um, drill canvases are done in the crystal rhinestones so and those are the ones that I'm placing right now. So I thought we would do a little, I'd do a little drill with me, I guess, and kind of talk about what's been going on. So my son started his internship today. So he left bright and early this morning. Oh, and just let, I just want to go ahead and say where I am right now is I am in my garage. It's so nice this morning. It's like really, it's breezy. It's really low humidity for, I guess this time of year. It has been very humid. I have the garage door up and so you can hear the birds. I can feel the breeze. I come out here first thing in the morning because even when it is humid because it's like and when I say first thing in the morning I'm talking like 6 30 in the morning because I have a light out here and because this is like the only time of the day that I can sit out here and it feel except for today I'm sitting out here later because it's so such low humidity but normally it's the only time first thing in the morning is the only time I can sit out here because it is humid and not I get hot <laughs> and not comfortable after a while so um, also I haven't really made much many videos because I because there's been people here but my like I said my son started his internship today and then my husband had some meetings and he so he had to go into the office which He's not supposed to go into the office full time, I guess, again, until sometime in July, maybe the first week of July, but, but he had to go in today because some people were coming in or something. I don't know. So I have the house all to myself again for the first time in a while and you know sometimes I feel bad about not complaining about it because I know it's just what it is and I know the reason why you know it's being done but I was just getting used to like being here by myself and then I know that there are some people who have been isolated by themselves this entire time and would give anything to have people in their house and so I don't really feel good about complaining about it it's just that I just can't like do videos and stuff with when they're here because I would be interrupted and they'd be like what are you doing who are you talking to because they don't really know that I make videos Anyway, so it's really nice. Today is Monday, June 1st. Hoping for a better month than the past few that we've had. Um, this is what I did this weekend. Well, okay. So I've had a kind of a busy few weeks. I we went on vacation we actually did go on vacation we went to the beach and we it, the it was for the Memorial Day weekend it was a long 
we went like on a Wednesday and came back on a Monday Memorial Day and the first couple of days that we were there it was really nice because no one was there but they opened up the short-term rentals we don't have to rent it because we I mean it's we own it so I mean we rent it but we can go pretty much anytime we want to when it's not being rented and since we weren't able to rent it we could go and we'd already had it marked off to go so we um, it was really nice but there was no because it was very um, nobody was there <laughs> nobody was there and you know we didn't have to wait on the elevator and we didn't have to I mean we encountered a few people down there that were that live there it's an older condo and there's a lot of um, older residents that live there full-time and they were just super nice and if they were on the elevator when we tried to get on the elevator and they were wearing masks they want they requested they had signs on the elevator saying you know wear wear your masks while you're in the elevator and also, if it's not your family, don't get on the elevator. You know, try to go up without, you know, let them go on and then you catch the next one. And it wasn't so crowded that we couldn't do that, you know. I did have one man get on with me. He didn't seem to really care at all about the rules. So I was like, whatever. Anyway. Um, I'm working on the X's here. I got a few more here in the section. So, but overall, everyone was very respectful. There was this one sweet lady who the elevator opened up and she was on it and she had a, uh, like a big face shield on. And I said, I said, oh, you can go ahead. I'll catch the next one. And she's like, oh, no, you can get on. I mean, she didn't she didn't care. But then she ended up getting off and talking to me. We were on some random floor, and she was just, you know, she just was very sweet and was asking where we were from. And um, anyway, I enjoyed talking to her. And they lived on there full time. So we went to the beach. It was really nice. We had, my, we took my mom with me, or us. It was my mom and me and my husband and then my son and his girlfriend. So there are five of us, which we've all, we've been together this entire time pretty much. So, you know, we were comfortable traveling with each other. We drove separate cars, so we weren't all shoved into one single car. Um, and we, um, the weather was was gorgeous the water down there was like crystal clear there were some um some days there was some red flags i don't get i don't get in the ocean i'm not an ocean person i love 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 to look at the ocean if i get really hot i will get in but it's the ocean scares me because i want because i saw the movie jaws when i was six years old my grandfather my grandfather took me to see it when I was six against my mom's advice and I was scarred for life <laughs> so I'm convinced that when I get into the ocean that I'm gonna be attacked by a great white shark and I wish I I wish that I could say that jokingly but I can't I really I'm scared of that although I know that that's probably the chances are pretty high that that will not happen but oh I just can't really I just can't enjoy it so I like to sit and look at it if, if I'm a comfortable temperature and I was sending under a tent so but besides that the weather was I mean the, the, the weather the water everything was so nice the restaurants on the other hand were okay so they just opened up I don't know what phase it was, you know, there's different phases, but they opened up the restaurants so they could seat 50% um, capacity, but they didn't have to do that. I think they kind of just, all the different one restaurants were doing their own thing. 
And so some of them were opened up 50%, some of them were opened up 25%, some of them weren't even open and still doing takeout. The first couple days, we just ordered pizza and then my husband cooked, because he's a good cook, so it didn't really, it didn't really matter. But, <laughs> When people started coming in, when they opened up those short-term rentals, they, the um, rental, I mean, like they were so packed with people. I mean, people just started coming in, okay? It just got, and I think that the restaurants, because they weren't open, weren't, weren't able to handle the amount of people that were coming into the area. And, so like even the takeout, we went out one time to this new restaurant that was really, really close to us, basically in the little area that we're in, we are in. And we got in like right before they closed and we sat outside and they only had out, they only offered outdoor seating. So we were lucky to get in. I'm working on, let me pause real quick. Plus signs, the plus signs are I haven't marked it off. I have my um, bead board over here. It's got all the, oh, here it is. This is the plus sign color. This is like a little kind of a, I don't know what it's called, a romantic sunset picture. I don't really see a thumbnail of it anywhere so gotta trust me on it because I'm not taking these little things off so anyway we went out to eat then and then we tried to order we ordered from a restaurant um, that was close by for takeout one night and then my husband cooked two nights and then and then we tried to order takeout from one restaurant and there was a and that was I think on like a Friday I think it was Saturday night it was, we waited too long, and it, there was a 75 minute wait for a takeout. We were starving, and that's when, that's when we ended up going out to that little restaurant that was in our like neighborhood area, where our condo is, and um, it actually turned out to be really good food, and we, and we basically got the things we were gonna order at the other one. We wanted some fish tacos, and they were delicious. Oh my gosh so I was kind of like that's a blessing I guess so yeah the restaurants couldn't handle the amount of people down there and or it was just a really long wait it was hard to get in we didn't care we were just glad to get away okay so that was Memorial Day weekend and then what else okay so we got back and then my son, and of course we ate the entire time, you know, ate and drank the entire time we were down there. Then get back and it was my son's birthday. He turned 22. And so we celebrated then. We celebrated at the beach and then we celebrated at home with more food. And then Um, then it was my anniversary on Saturday and we ended up going to the lake. We, we decided, no, let's just not go out to eat because we're not going to be able to go anywhere and who cares. So we ended up going to the lake. My husband packed a, made some sandwiches, some really good, like, I don't know what, it was like. Italian type sandwiches with some Italian meats on them and some pesto. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And sun-dried tomatoes on like harder rolls, sandwich rolls. So good. So he made some sandwiches. He made a pasta salad and bought some of these delicious Almond Joy cookies from the grocery store that is near us. And we made a little picnic and went on the lake for just, we went later in the afternoon, like 4.30, 5 o'clock, because we figured the lake would be crowded and then it was going to be hot. And so we were just like, no, let's just wait. 
So we did, and my son and his girlfriend ended up going with us, and um, and we just enjoyed a nice evening on the lake, and we just ate when we were out there and just took a boat ride, and it was nice. Then last night, I feel I feel like it just there's just this time of year normally without all this stuff it's so busy and it still is busy even though we couldn't really go anywhere I mean really couldn't be around a ton of people last night we had um, a fish fry my husband likes to fish and he we had a freezer full of fish and he wanted to get rid of it. So he said, so we invited our neighbors that we've been doing things during this whole quarantine. We'd been doing things with them. So we felt they were like in our little bubble or whatever. <laughs> and um, then my mom came over and, um, cause he had a lot of fish. And so we ate it and we had a whole bunch of other food too. I, pretty much feel like I for the I've been eating like for the past three months <laughs> especially the past month I feel like I've all I've been doing is eating food so I'm back on my diet again today I've got to rein it in so I kind of feel like it's I don't know. I know it's summer, but I feel like it's we're not going to have very many celebrations in the next uh, two weeks or so. So that's good. It'll kind of give me. I just I'm like ready to get back into like a normal routine type of thing. And I actually think my son was too. He's only got this internship for like you know until he goes back to college, which. I'm not exactly sure when that is. Normally it would be the beginning of August, but I don't know if they've, I don't know. I don't know if they've, I haven't got the official word if they've like extended that out or, or what. Have any other colleges closed or delayed their openings or their start date? So I feel like I have been pretty busy um, over the past month. So I'm kind of ready to just sit at home for a while, I guess. <laughs> I'm just joking. I've been sitting at home. I guess I'm just ready to get back into like a routine of stuff at home. And it's just been we It's just been so hard. It's been so weird and hard to do that. Um, with everybody here. But yeah, my son starting his internship, he was, I don't know. I mean, he is, he is getting paid for it, so that's good. But he had to have an internship in order to get into this program that he's trying to get into at school. So I'm glad that he, his first internship that he interviewed for, he did, he had like three inter interviews for it. And he um, he ended up getting it and then they canceled it so we were lucky that he was able to get to find another internship and he has to have it to get into this program where he can get his MBA in like a year he's in engineering school right now the kid is like beyond I'm not bragging what well, I mean I'm a mate I'm amazed, I guess, that my husband and I created this kid who, like, has the brain that he does. We're like, where did that come from? Because he's, like, he just understands stuff. He, the, the stuff he, the work he does, like his schoolwork and stuff, it just, I don't even understand what I'm looking at. And he starts talking about it, and it's like, I try to pay attention, but I get lost, like, in the first sentence that when he's trying to tell me something, because I have no idea what he's, it's like a foreign language to me, and I have no idea what he's talking about. 
<sighs> I wish I could understand it, but nope. So, uh, let's talk about diamond painting. I have not been diamond painting because I haven't had a really good place to spread it out. And you kind of have to have a place where well, I do, where I can spread out my stuff. And that's why I ended up putting it in the garage, but then it's been hot. Anyway, so I haven't really done a lot of diamond painting, but I just went on a pretty diamond painting buying spree. I said it was for my anniversary. So you'll go, you're, um, I bought a few uh, more of these crystal canvas paintings because I love doing it in the, all the rhinestones because I think it's so pretty. But I've also been really into the uh, beaded cross stitch lately because it's kind of like diamond painting because of, you know, the sparkle of the beads that you use, but it's also like cross stitch. So I kind of, I feel like I'm getting sat at those, both of those satisfactions. And this one cross stitch or beaded cross stitch that I'm working on now, it is actually, it goes by a pattern. It doesn't have a printed fabric. So I have to actually look at the pattern like I do, like I would a cross stitch and do it that way. And I'm probably gonna move my whatever this thing is right up here that my camera's on. It's just still going. Haven't I really been talking for 21 minutes? Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, so, and I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you uh, the bead cross stitch, what I'm doing on that. And I, and I actually have two more that are on the printed fabric that are supposed to be coming to me. I think they should be getting here sometime soon, maybe this week. But those are a little bit different for me because they're done, they're both um, circular, like done in a circular pattern. I'll have to show it to you. I can't even explain it. I just, I like doing the beaded cross stitch because like I said, it's kind of like diamond painting too with the sparkle and shine and everything, but it's also, a, to me, it's a little bit more easy to do, like more, a little bit more portable. Um, if I'm working like on just one solid color, I guess, but I'll just have to show you what now now the ones that I ordered were, came from Ukraine but you know you can order them you can find not full coverage ones that's those are well I think there's a few on Amazon but you've got you can find some partial ones if you wanted to try it I did a video showing you the squirrel one that I did that was a little one but they've got some decent sized ones and they range from like thirty to forty dollars. They're they're a lot. They're pricey, I would say, and they're more pricey. And the ones that I ordered from Ukraine were also more expensive, but it was a treat to myself for Mother's Day. So, um, yeah, I just I'm really enjoying doing that. I'm working on a cross. Oh, I have several cross stitches that I also have been working on, but I just decided to take a break from the cross stitch. Although my son is really, every time he sees me working on like a diamond painting, he asks me, have you have you finished that one? How about, how's it going on the one that you've been doing for me? Cause I've been doing one for him. That's a Napoleon Dynamite sampler because that's one of his movies that he likes. And I promised him that I would have it finished by the time he goes back to college. <laughs> so I need to get working on it because it is larger than what I thought it was gonna be. It's taking, it took more time, but I like it, it's fun, it's a fun stitch to do. 
and I got the pattern from Lin Lindy Stitches. Lindy Stitches. Yeah, so okay, well I have finished, I believe, maybe I'll pull this back if I can a little bit. I have just ripped this. There. I have um, all of these in crystal, crystal canvas. Their um, drills come in. They're all they're already bagged up. So I've just kind of been working out of the bags, and then in these. Show you, I'll pull it over real quick. Beadboards that I've showed before, and I have the symbols written on the little things anyway, so that's just easier for me to do. But I've got <clears throat> this garbage bag up here full of the bags that came with it. <clears throat> so I have finished working on this. I worked on it 30 minutes, I set my timer for 30 minutes in the morning, and I and I work on it for 30 minutes. And um, and then if I wanna come back and work on it more, but that's like my goal to work on it for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you the beaded cross stitch now. So I'm gonna take you um, inside. So I will see you in a few. All right, I do not know if you actually can see this. Um. This is the beaded cross stitch that I'm working on. So it's on, oops, I'm sorry, I did not mean to hit the camera. It's on this um, like Ada fabric, but this is not, it's really soft. And I actually put fray check all over the sides of it because it was like unraveling a little bit for me. So um, it's, you know, as you can see, it's a blank canvas. And then I have, um, I'll just show you like a little corner of the pattern, but you know, the, there's six pages of a pattern, six, six pages, I believe. And I am just like on the first page. There's four full pages my dog is stomping around, so you just have to, he's trying to sit down. There he goes. So there's four full pages, and then there's um, like a partial pages. So this is my setup. So I've got this, and I'm working on this. I'm just following the pattern that as it's, you know, written on the pattern. And I've got my thread, and I've, the, the, the kit came with this, it came with um, a needle. It came with all of the threads that came on a spool like this, which I thought was neat. It came with a, um, it actually came with a, like a fabric marking pin, which I am not using. It came with a needle threader and then it came in all, had all the little beads and they were packaged, they were packaged up in individual bags, but they also came in these containers like this that you just, you know, pop open like that. There's, they're double-sided on the side that already had the labels on them and everything. So I didn't have to do that. I just had to put them in the beads into the corresponding containers that have the number and the symbol on. And of course I just go by the symbol because that's what's on the pattern, so. But also I have um, a plastic plate that I have some bead, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot a bead mat and I just kind of count them out according like just to like like sections I don't know you kind of have to come up with your own method and this method works for me I just count them out like I look at one part of the pattern and I in the little box of like a row of ten 
squares or beads and then I'm like okay so I need four of those or five of those and one of those okay and that's how I do it and then I've got let's see I've got my little tools here this thing that is called a bead nabber that I actually put on my finger and I have to put this plate over on this side no I put it on this side I grab a bead, put it in this hand, like this, I'll show you. I put it in my hand and then I do that and pick it up. <laughs> Cause it's sticky, this is sticky, and then I put my needle in it and thread the bead. So it does take um, longer than diamond painting, but I don't care. Um, I also have a couple pairs of scissors that I use. And I wanted to show you these, this is what I'm doing with these bags. Okay, so I got these bags, ordered these bags from um, Bags Plus. And th this is like a mini bag fob or something. I don't know, I think you can put, I just put a scissor, a scissor fob on it and not scissors. But they, this one has six, there's like something on there that's bugging me. Six compartments for, they're supposed to be for um, bobbins. But since I don't use bobbins for cross-stitching, I ordered these so I can cut off lengths of this and roll them up. I, I cut it off the length and then I roll it around my two fingers and, the, and, and then I stick them in here. So I have, so I don't have to like stop and cut so much. And I just have to, you know, when I finish a thread, I just re-thread. Re or just take out a piece of thread and then re-thread it and work. It cuts out a it cuts out a step. So I have that one filled, and then it has a pocket in the back where I put like this thing, and then my needle threaders, and then I also oops, have a bigger one that has all the other pieces of thread. So I have I can have like sixteen threads cut. At one time, what I'd like to do is get a big bags plus. She makes the, um, she gave this to me for free. She, everyone who placed an order during the month of May, she sent like a bendy flip, I think these are called, that have 12 pockets. She threw that in for free. And those are like worth $12. And I, she did, she sent out like, she said she gave away like, it was like 130 something or even more than that when she told me for, free. I thought that was like extremely generous. So I was surprised and a little confused when I got it. I was like, did I order this? Anyway, it's got clouds and bees on it. So um, anyway, I, that just cuts out a step, but she makes these project bags that have, it's a project bag where you put your project in and then one side of the bag has all these compartments. And I thought that would be so cool. I could keep my beaded project in the bag and have the thread. Anyway, just something else that I, you know, want. <laughs> and then I have my needle um, minder here, which I just ordered from Evelyn Crafts, I believe it's called. And it is a really pretty, can you see it? Sleeping Mermaid, and it's blue, and she's on like a, a shell. So pretty. So, I'm sticking her on here today, because I'm kind of working on blues. Although this is a, sorry, I've got an itch on my arm. This is a beaded cross stitch or embroidery. Of, it's a Christmas pattern. It is a Christmas pattern. And next time I work on it, I'll show you what it looks like when it's, you know, the full thing. But it is a full coverage Christmassy type pattern. But it was when it was, I wanted to try out this company. They're called on Etsy, it's Beads Painting. Beads Painting, I think, or it's Visor Painting on Facebook. But I think on Etsy it's beads painting. And um, I got my order pretty fast. 
I got my order pretty fast when I ordered it. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of the bead beading. Um, because I have to count on this one, on the other ones, I won't have to count because the pattern's on the fabric and they're full coverage as well, but I haven't got those yet and I'll show those to you when I get them. But I'm looking at my pattern, I'm gonna put these right here. And you know, I decided to do it in hand because for some the frame was just not working for me. So I'm going to be doing three of the darker blues to begin with. I said the darker blues. So you can't see my my plate over here. Oops. And when I do this, I just kind of veg out. Now when I started it, okay, so this is hard to explain. When I started it, I was going, I was just working across, because the way this pattern goes is this is the top of it and this is gonna be the bottom. So I'm actually kind of working sideways right now. But for me, um, and so when I first started doing like this one, I was had the fabric turned, but I have been working from the bottom left hole up to the, doing a half stitch up to the top right hole, if that makes sense. So, so I'm going diagonal from bottom left to top right. And that's the way I've been trying to keep this. I did mess up once in a little area, but but when I turn it and go certain ways, I have to turn my fabric. So now I'm working, I'm, I'm still keeping the same like pattern or way, but I'm just doing it from the, I'm doing it opposite. I'm going, coming down from the top because I turned the fabric. I'm coming down from the top left and going to the bottom right, but the beads are still gonna be facing the same way. I know that doesn't make any sense at all, probably, but it does to me. And then when I go back, because I'm just doing this section right here, when I go back, I will turn my fabric around and do it like the way I had started doing it. This is just easiest for me. And you kind of have to play around with it and find what works for you, right? I feel like I already, did I mess up? No. So yeah, I really, it is much, it's a much slower process. And I don't even know if it's, I mean, if cross stitching would be faster, but you don't have to change. One thing is, is that on a full coverage, you don't have to change the threads and carry the thread and all that kind of, all that, you know that stuff, which I don't want to do. <laughs> I thought about doing the full coverage cross stitch, but it's just, to me, all that parking and stuff, just, ugh. That just looks confusing to me. I can do this without, if I'm in good lighting, I can do it without, um, Like my stormtrooper glasses, I can do. I could do without. Just I'm just using reading glasses, and I'm actually sitting by a window in my kitchen. I don't know if it, sometimes I get that thread's kind of. No. And you just kind of have to press them together just to kind of get the look. Really, I'm working on background color right now, so I just did just this little section right here. And then what I do after I finish like a section, like that's part of a 10 square, I take my red, you know, like a red pen and mark or whatever and mark it off so I don't get confused. And I'm gonna stop because this video is pretty long, but I just wanted to show you some of what I'm doing. I don't even know if you could see, but um, because of my hand being the way it 
I probably should put the camera over on this side, but just where my plug-in is, I can't do that. But this is just really a back, this is a background color. It's actually, it's a cardinal, it's gonna be like a cardinal or something. Cardinal with a Santa hat on. But it was one of the cheapest ones and I just wanted to get a, I didn't want to spend a ton of money because they can cost, you can get some that cost like $200. These beads, I guess, are just really expensive. Um, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money not knowing if it's something I would enjoy doing. Now these beads, you can kind of see, are kind of like a flat. They're not like metallic-y or really shiny. These are like more of a flat color. Then these white ones have kind of like a pearl, a pearlness to them. And then down here, I've done just a little bit of the other part of, well, when I was just kind of doing the outline of some of it, these are kind of more like translucent. Um, red ones, you know, have like a different shine and you got some over here that have like some kind of metallic in them. So I think that's just so the, the um, pattern, the bird itself will pop out when I get to that point. It'll, it'll have different, and we'll just all be flat, if that makes any sense. And like, these are like little white, um, I think they're supposed to be snowflakes, or <laughs> kind of reminiscent of snowflakes. That's why they're pearlish, so they kind of pop out of the pattern too. That's my, that's my thought on the whole thing. All right, y'all, thank you so much for listening to me. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, let me know what you're working on right now. Let me know if you've ever done, let me know if you ordered from Canvas or Crystal Canvas and got in and got an order. And let me know if you ordered, or if you've ever done one of these beaded cross stitch or beaded embroideries like this on the plain fabric. I'd be interested to know. And um, I mean, I have messed up on this. It is not perfect by any means. I'm probably, you know, uh, and I'm not the neatest at beaded embroidery. Like there's some, like threads sticking up here and there, but I still enjoy doing it. It's a nice, it's a fun project. All right, y'all, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, bye.